Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to Living in Las Vegas podcast here on the Vegas Video Network. Uh, for those of you who are listening or watching, this sounds a little different than usual. The start isn't quite what you're used to, and there's a reason for that. Uh, and the reason is kind of like I did back in 2000, I think it was 2013. I'm going to put the Living in Las Vegas podcast on... I would say indefinite hiatus. This exact same thing happened many, many years ago, and and it's it's pretty similar. Now, back in 2013, I had been doing the Vegas Video Network for it was about three years or so, and while I enjoyed the content we were producing back then, and the feedback was positive, the business model wasn't what I needed it to be. So I stopped doing the Living in Las Vegas podcast so I could focus my attention first on creating a better Vegas video network, but also we came up with, we invented the Vegas video co-op, which had never been done before. And so the goal there was for me to focus my attention strictly on getting these businesses to where I wanted them to be. And so we did. We spent a year or so not doing the net, not doing my show and focusing on um, the, the content for the Vegas Video Network and Vegas Video Co-op. And a funny thing happened on the way to uh, the beach, if you will. One of our co-op members was Brett Grant. We all know Brett. And Brett knew me from the network. So he and I had collaborated, we had taken our content from the Vegas Video Network and put it on KSHP. So he was familiar with the shows on the network, he was familiar with my show, and he kept saying as he was coming into his co-op sessions, you gotta start the show again. You've gotta start living in Las Vegas again. And the main reason is because I'm gonna be your co-host. So, okay, sounds great. So he did this for three or four months. Just, you got to do the show. You got to do the show. And I'm like, all right, all right. Hold on. Let's do, a, let's do a practice. Let's do a rehearsal to see how it goes. And so we did, literally right behind me there. And it went very well. And as you know, Brett came as, as my host. And it was fantastic. Um, fast forward to June, last June, when I said I was going to take a couple months off. It's the same thing I did last year. And the idea was a little R&R, &R, taking it easy a bit, enjoy the summer. I also mentioned the Scott Whitney Academy, and I was going to work on that. But the truth of the matter is I have never been busier. And there's a number of reasons for that. And one of them is consulting. Now, Podworks has had a number of business models that we've been using for a long time. And it kind of works like a, well, we call it a ladder of engagement. So at the bottom is, you can rent my studio, and then if you go up a little higher, you have the Vegas Video Co-op, and you go up a little higher, you have Vegas Video Network, and then you've got Livestream Las Vegas, and at the very top is consulting. The last two months, I have been just really busy with the high end of the business, which is consulting, so much so that it's not unusual for me to be right here eight o'clock every night working on consultation content for my clients. So that has been keeping me super busy along with the Scott Whitney Academy. Now I mentioned this back in June that we were going to launch this thing. Well, so we launched the very first live training course on July. It was called Sell Yourself Fearlessly. It was a four week live training class, really well received. Um, it was the kind of thing where after each class, the people would thank me for doing the class, which was lovely. Uh, nine and a half out of 10 score was the feedback I got. So it was very, very good. And it basically said, this is a viable business model for us. People like this stuff. But whereas the first group of people were people who knew me previously, the only way the Scott Whitney Academy works is if people who don't know me discover what we're doing and join one of our classes. And so I've decided to focus my attention on both the consulting stuff and the Scott Whitney Academy. And it's very, very difficult. I spend untold hours building for that first training. There's a lot of work involved. Now I have a whole different business or a whole different issue to, to contend with, which is the funnel business. It's the drawing people to me, helping them discover what it is that we're capable of doing with the Scott Whitney Academy. Um, and 
part of that is fresh content. So while I'm going to stop doing the, the Living in Las Vegas podcast, which I was doing you know, twice a month, we're going to be doing a new podcast called Sell Yourself Fearlessly um, twice a week is the plan, at least twice a week. So twice a month to twice a week is the plan. So we're going to be doing a, quite a bit more work. And it's so much more work that I just can't afford to spend what amounts to about eight hours to produce this show with the pre-production, the actual show, and then post-production and distribution. We're going to focus on the Scott Whitney Academy and the consulting thing. So as a result, again, we're going to put the show on indefinite hiatus. I don't know if it's coming back, but we have to stop it so I can focus on this other stuff. But I wanted to do this video. I just didn't want to fade to black because I wanted to do a couple things. First, I wanted to thank you, the people who have been supporting the show since January 13th, 2006. That's when we launched the Living in Las Vegas podcast. There are some people who are still listening or watching this show, which I am completely honored by. I think that's just fantastic. Um, you have brought me a great deal of joy. And as a matter of fact, my best friend in the world is because of this show. And some of my good friends are because of this show. So I really appreciate um, the opportunity to meet some just wonderful people here. It's been fantastic. I also want to uh, do a special shout out and thank you to a group of people who have been primarily in the live chat. I've said this many times, one of the powers of live streaming, if done correctly, is the concept of being able to interact with your audience live. And when I talk about this with customers and prospects, I talk about the Living in Las Vegas live chat. We've had people coming in here for years now, and many of them the same people over and over again. And, you know, people worry a lot about having a live chat and are they going to be kind of pissing and moaning a pain in the ass and it's just been the opposite a nicer bunch of people i've never met super supportive very inviting when somebody new shows up they've been lovely so um those people and many of those people are people who've been around for a long time so i really want to thank uh who well pops pops has been around for a while and he's He's done some great work for us and, and has gone out there and told people about the show many, many times, and I really do appreciate that. Other people, too. Mike Q has been a big supporter for a long time up in Portland. Eventually, he'll be coming to Las Vegas. He's been around for a long time, knows more about my show probably than I do. Certainly knows more about Vegas than I do. Uh, Faze Jitter, Mr. Testy, Binky, Ozzy Deb, uh, Mad Chipmunk, Andy in New Hampshire. These are folks who have been around for a very long time. Many of these folks have also played along in the Have a Drink on Me show, or segment, I should say, uh, and I appreciate that. We've had some new guys really show up large as well. Mike and the Coove has been one of those guys, uh, Sam the Wrench as well. So thanks to all of you guys for playing along. And it's not goodbye, it's I hope you'll check me out on the uh, Sell Yourself Fairly podcast, Fearlessly podcast. Uh, I think it'll be interesting. It's going to be cool, especially if you're a small business owner or know somebody who's a small business owner and is interested in um, you know, making more money and being more effective in the sales world. So that's it. Again, thanks again for, for playing along and uh, stay tuned. Uh, keep up with me. All right. Take care.